Hi guys, welcome to Augustana. Um, my name is Michelle and I'm currently a sophomore at Augustana College. So first I'm going to tell you a little bit about me and why I chose Augustana and then I'm going to give you a little bit of information that we want you to know and please feel free to ask any questions at any time. So the first thing I'd like to say is I'm a sophomore, I already said that, oops, and I'm majoring in multimedia journalism, mass communication, and communication studies. So I'm double majoring and I love it so far. It's awesome. My professors are amazing. Um, aside from my majors on campus, I'm involved in cheerleading. I'm in the Advertising Developers Club. And I'm in a sorority. I'm trying to think what else I'm in. Last year, I did a little bit of theater. I was in both of the musicals. So I'm really involved on campus. So if you have any questions about anything, I will try my best to answer them. So feel free to pop those in the comments. Um, something that we kind of want you guys to know about is our open house. So our open house and scholarship competition is happening Saturday, February 8th. And so if you are coming to this, it is open for everyone. So if anybody wants to come, feel free to sign up and there's still time to register if you haven't registered yet. So if you need to register still, you can go online to augustana.edu slash open house. Okay. So I'm going to say it again, augustana.edu slash open house. So for our scholarship competition, I just want all of you guys to know there is nothing that you have to prepare for this competition. You just have to show up. Um, the music scholarship audition has closed and the theater scholarship audition is still open, but only until Friday, this Friday, January 31st. So if you have a music or theater scholarship audition, like a fine arts scholarship audition, that's the only thing you need to have like something prepared for. Otherwise, just show up and once again, there's still time to register. So, oh, I have a comment already. What if we can't make it to the open house? Okay, Sarah, well, if you can't make it to the open house, don't worry because you can schedule a personal visit or an overnight stay with admissions. So all you have to do is call the admissions office and schedule that and find a good time that you can come. Um, the next question is, if I have 3.5 years of Spanish credit, do I need to have a full four years of credit? Yes, I believe you do. So, oh, message retracted. Okay. <laughs> um, how's the diversity? This campus is very diverse. We have a lot of international students here. We have a pretty diverse campus. There are many articles about the diversity on campus. So if you go online to the Augustana Observer, you can check out those articles. I also work for the Observer, which is the awesome newspaper. So definitely check it out. Um, you can't make it to the open house. If you are not there, you can't qualify for any scholarships. Um, I believe that is correct. You cannot qualify for any scholarships if you can't come to the scholarship competition. But if you're wondering why should you come to the scholarship competition and the open house, aside from the fact that it's a scholarship competition, it's a great opportunity to connect with other students. So for example, last year, two of my friends ended up telling me a story about how they met at the open house scholarship competition. And then they decided that they wanted to be roommates and they hung out a couple times over summer and they just really hit it off. And they were roommates, they were two of my really good friends and they got along great. So it's a great opportunity to maybe meet your future roommate and just other friends in general. And you also have the opportunity to talk to your potential professors you get a tour of the campus, which is beautiful, and you also get to eat lunch in the CSL. So, oh, you heard that Augustana just had a J term for the first time. How is it in my opinion? Okay, listen, I'm going to tell you guys the truth. J term is awesome. So instead of having like an extra long winter break and being at home for all that extra time that you don't want to be home for, you get to come back to school and you only take one class and it's a three hour class. And it might sound a little overwhelming because it's three hours, but just know that it's one class. So you're only taking one class. You only have the homework schedule of one class and then you have all the rest of the time. So for me personally, I had an internship and I had a job while I was taking my J-term class. So in the morning I woke up and I went to my internship from nine to 12 and then I had my class from 12.30 until 3.30. And then after that, I went to work from four to six. So I had a perfect schedule for me. I went home after that. I did my homework and I had enough time to 
relax and just have like time to hang out with my friends, but I also had time to do my homework. So it's a great opportunity for you to have like this three weeks. I learned so much in my class. I learned so much in my internship and I got to have time to make money. So it's a really great opportunity for that. And I really enjoyed that. Um, let's see. The next question is, I seem to be involved in a lot. Do I feel that, do you feel that one is, what? That one is free to be thoroughly involved in the campus life and programs while staying on top of grades? Absolutely. So I have a pretty high GPA. It's not a 4.0, but it's definitely a 3.7. So, and I'm involved in a lot of stuff on campus. So I would say, yes, you can be involved and it all comes down to you. So it's your time management. What can you do? For me, like I worked for the Augustana Observer, which is the newspaper. So I wrote for the newspaper and I also worked in the advancement office. This is like, I'm talking about last term. And along with that, I was still doing cheerleading. I was still in advertising developers club and I was still an active member in my sorority. So there's so much that you can do here on campus, but that's, all keeping in mind that your grades come first. So you want to stay on top of your homework. You want to make sure you're getting that done. And also like, I want to let you guys know I'm a person that needs sleep. So I did all of this while having like a pretty decent sleeping schedule. Like I never went to bed at 2 a.m. I was not that student. I'm in bed before midnight every night because I need sleep to get through this busy schedule. So it's definitely manageable. Um, What's the weather for those who aren't native to Illinois? Well, right now, it's cold. I'm wearing my coat in a building because I was so cold. I'm actually really warm right now, so I'm going to take off. Um, but the weather in the, in the summer when you first get here, not in the summer, but like towards the end of summer in the fall, it's really hot. If you're in dorms like Andrine or Sem, there is no air conditioning, so it's warm in there. But there is heat when it gets cold. So that's perfect because then you get to turn on your heat when it's nice and freezing outside like it is now. And just be careful because you want to dress appropriately. So have your winter coat ready. Have your gloves, your scarf, your mittens. People think that's a joke. I'm telling you, one of my international friends was walking outside in flip-flops. And he was like, it's snowing. And I'm like, put some socks and shoes on. You're going to get frostbite on your toes. So be prepared. Have the proper winter clothes for the winter time. Um, let's see. Off campus accessibility. So I don't necessarily get out of outside of the Augie bubble that much, but there is so much to do in the Quad Cities. We have the Figgy Art Museum. We have this little coffee shop called Cool Beans. So that's super cute. And a lot of students go there to study all the time or just get good coffee. So there's a lot of stuff to do. And if you're curious about that, you can just kind of look, look at Rock Island things. The Tax Slayer Center is not far away. And they have a lot of cool concerts and programs like monster truck events and all sorts of things. So if you're interested in that, there's definitely a lot of stuff to do in the Quad Cities. Let's see. Um, hmm. What types of activities are planned on campus for students on the weekends? So we have a very active um, OSL. So OSL is Office of Student Life. So what that means is these are groups of students and faculty who plan events. So on certain nights, there might be a concert in the quad or a bonfire or a picnic. So like on welcome week, there's so much stuff to do. And that's the week where they plan like a lot of things for you. But also that's the week you get to make a lot of friends. So I see here, is it hard to make friends? I'm so nervous. No, do not worry. It is not hard to make friends. I can honestly tell you. So my personal experience about making friends I was so nervous going into college. I was like, what if everybody thinks I'm weird? I'm not going to have any friends. I, I was really nervous, okay? So I'm not going to lie to you guys. But I was on the Facebook page, and everybody was kind of like posting like, 
oh, hi, I'm Michelle. I have three cats. And like you would post your random information. I like tacos, you know? And then people would comment like, oh, I like tacos too. Or I had said like, I'm interested in multimedia journalism. And everybody's like, oh, I like journalism too. So you'll meet friends from the Facebook page. And then you can also like get their Snapchats, get their information. And so from the Facebook page, we had made a group chat and from this group chat, it was of people who were living in my freshman year dorm, which was Westerland. So from this group chat, we started messaging like from the middle of the summer until school started. So we were all like internet friends or whatever you want to call it. And then we got to school and we all met each other. And I remember one of my friends was like, it's Michelle. Cause that was like my Instagram name at the time. And I was like, Emma Collini. And we ended up like, I only knew her from her Instagram name, but then we became instant friends. So it's really cool and super easy to make friends. And Welcome Week is a great opportunity. You're going to have a peer mentor and a peer group. And that group is going to be with you for your entire first term. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I am still friends with people from my peer group freshman year, like best friends. So the people you meet, I'm going to tell you, Augustana is different from any other school in a way that it's small. It's a small liberal arts school. So you meet people and you become friends with them and then you become friends with their friends and they become friends with your friends and your friend group just grows. So if you're worried about making friends, I would honestly say don't be. I can honestly not walk from my dorm to class without saying hi to at least three or four people. So people are so kind here. Everybody will go out of their way to be extra nice extra kind and just extremely friendly. So that is the Augustana culture. That is the Augie way. And just be kind because everybody here is kind and you're going to love it. You're going to make friends super easily. And even in the dorms, like you're going to make friends with your neighbors. You're going to see somebody in the bathroom every day and eventually you're going to break that shell and introduce yourself and then you're going to be friends. So don't worry about that. Um, let's see what other questions we have here. How do you find a roommate? So I personally found a roommate kind of from social media. But so again, with that Facebook page, we were on that Facebook page for, for me, it was Augustana class of 22. So you're going to go on your Facebook page and basically you create that little profile that like, oh, my name's Michelle. I'm interested in this major or this activity and cheerleading or whatever it is. And so I had a couple people comment, and so I would Snapchat them and try to decide if I wanted to be roommates with them and stuff like that. And I ended up being roommates with somebody who went to a rival high school of mine. And basically, we met at a speech tournament because in high school, I did speech. But so we met through speech, and then we became roommates, and it worked out really, really well. So definitely connect to people on social media. Don't be afraid to reach out and really let people know, like, oh, this is what I'm interested in and like set boundaries. So like, are you a really clean person? There are things that you guys are going to forget to ask. Like, do you take out the garbage? Do you stay up all night? Do you listen to music really loudly? So make sure you try to think of those roommate things that's going to really affect you guys in the long run. Ah, you guys are asking questions so fast. Are animals allowed in the dorms? So you're allowed to have and emotional support animal, so that's an ESA, but you have to get them registered and approved and do all that. So I know people who have ferrets, snakes, cats, dogs. My friend has a bunny. So yes, you can have animals. You just have to get them approved for ESA. Uh, let's see. Um, is J-Term something everyone is required to participate in? The answer is no. So as freshmen, you are required to participate in J-Term, but after that, you have the option. So if you're on a sports team or in a high-contact club sport, like I'm in cheerleading, which is not a sport, but it's a high-contact club, so we had to be here. So technically, if you're on sports teams, like certain things like that, you have to be here for J-Term, but you don't have to be here if you choose not to be after your freshman year. So the answer is no. Um, Do I feel safe and comfortable walking around campus? Absolutely. A hundred percent. Absolutely. I live in the farthest dorm away from where I used to work, which was the advancement. 
um, center, which was in Sorensen. So if you had looked at a campus map, you could see it's like all the way across campus. And so when like winter term, I get out, it's pitch black outside. That's fine. I feel 100% safe walking through campus. I know that public safety is always a call away. If I ever did feel unsafe, I could call them and they would escort me right to my dorm. And they have an ACES shuttle, which honestly, I have no idea what ACES stands for. I don't know if it even stands for something, but basically it's a car and you can call it on the app and they'll pick you up from where you are and take you to where you need to be. So it is really safe. And you'll see once like you get on that campus atmosphere, Augie is going to be your home away from home. It's a hundred percent my home away from home. And when I'm walking home from work, I feel like I'm strolling through the backyard. So that's, it's safe. I feel safe. Let's see. What sports do students attend most? So I would say there's not that many people who show up for the football games because in the past they struggled a little bit. But let, this year the football team was excellent. They were amazing, really great. And more people started showing up. A lot of people always show up for the basketball games. And it's really great because it's like I describe it as Augie magic. So basically – it'll be like neck and neck with the scoreboard and we're down by one point, like one basket. And we just need to get that last two points to like that last basket to win. And the entire gymnasium is standing up chanting defense. They're trying to win. Like it's insane. It is Augie magic. And you at least have to go to at least one basketball game. If you come to Augie because they're insane. They're incredible. And it's just an amazing feeling of school spirit that you get when you go there. So definitely the basketball games are awesome. Um, let's see. How are the freshman year dorms or dorm life in general? Great question. So for me, I lived in Westerlin, which was a little far of a walk, but I loved living in Westerlin. So this dorm room or dorm in general is three floors, three wings. So you have I wing, J wing, and W wing. And I lived in three I. And basically there's a lounge in the in the dorm room. So you can go in the lounge. There was a piano there. So sometimes I'd be doing homework and somebody would come down and like start playing the piano. And I'm like, piano music while I'm doing homework? Heck yeah. So it's really great. And like sometimes you get to play games and like do stuff like that. You can check out games from the front desk. You can, there's like a little sitting area. It's like the lobby. So not necessarily the lounge because the lounge is tables for people to do homework or stuff like that. And like comfy chairs to sit in and booths. But then if you go in the lobby, you have like your couches, your sofas and the TV. So every Monday night when the bachelor's playing, you have your 30 girls sitting there watching the bachelor in the freshman dorm. So dorm life is fun. You get to know people. I became really good friends with a lot of girls on my floor last year. And your CAs, they are there to help you. I personally got in contact with my CA when we met for like a one-on-one -on -one meeting. And because of her, I got this extremely great internship that I'm going to be doing for the rest of my career here at Augustana. So definitely dorm life is awesome. Now there are two other dorms. So the other dorms are Seminary and Andreen. And I did not live there because obviously I lived in Westy, but I did have friends who lived there. So the coolest thing about Sem is that it has an attic. And in the attic, it's like there's chairs, there's tables, there's like so much furniture and you can just go up there and it can be a study place or it can be a fun place. So like on the weekends, sometimes like no one's really going to be studying on a Friday night. So we would go up there and we would play board games and it'd be really fun. So there's definitely, it's an area for you to hang out with your friends or study if you need to, but it's a communal space. So you have to make sure, you know, keep it clean like you should, all that stuff. Um, and then Andreen, kind of like Sem, but Andreen has a basement instead of an attic. And the Andreen basement is so cool. There's multiple TVs, there's a pool table, so it's just really, really awesome, and it's, an, once again, it's that homework place, it's that hangout place, and no matter what, dorm life is a good experience. People are going to complain about the communal showers and the communal bathrooms, but honestly, 
I live in a, a so, yeah, a sophomore year dorm. I'm a sophomore. Okay. Um, a sophomore year dorm. And I'm happy that I don't have to clean my own bathroom. And the girls on my floor aren't messy. So living in this dorm is not bad at all. Our floor always smells good. We all get along. If I need anything, I can go like text in like the group me for our chat and say like, does anybody have a safety pin or hot glue sticks? Literally anything. People ask for like ibuprofen, stuff like that. So I remember when I went home for break and I didn't have any ketchup when I was cooking. So I had to use barbecue sauce. This is a little tangent. So take, take time. But I had to use barbecue sauce. And normally if that happened, I would just message somebody in on my floor and be like, hey, does anybody have any ketchup? But I couldn't do that when I was at home. So like being in a dorm, you have weird opportunities, I guess you could call it, but you have that that little dorm family. So I think it's a great experience. You learn how to be independent. So just be open-minded about it. Personally, my roommate and I got along so well. She, to this day, is still one of my very, very close friends. I love her dearly. And so rooming with her, being friends with her, it worked out perfectly. Now, not all roommate situations are going to be the best, but that's why you have your CA to talk about it, to make that contract, to make sure that everybody's like getting what they want and making like that compromise. Let's look at the other questions. Honors. I don't know much about honors, if I'm being honest, because I was not in the honors program here at Augustana, but I'm sure we can get a link in there maybe. Yes, so we're going to drop a link in there to talk a little bit about the honors. So if you're interested in that, you can explore that. I'm sorry, you guys are asking really fast questions. I'm trying to scroll up and look at them. Um, when do we pick our courses for freshman year? So registering and if you register and you do your tuition deposit now, you would be able to register for classes um, for the first registration, which is in April. So you'll get the first pick because of that. So the first one is in April. That is all I can tell you about that. Registering is pretty difficult because when you register, it's like everybody's kind of clicking it at once, especially after everybody's here. So you want to make sure you can get to register first because it's not always easy getting all your classes. So when you make your schedule, make sure you make it and then you make another one and then you make another one and then you make a backup to the backup to the backup because as a freshman, you will not get your first choice classes. And that is just how it is. And it's not just like that here. I've talked to my friends that go to colleges across the state, across across the state boundaries, like across the country. They do not get their first class. You don't always get your first choice, which is tough, but you will love any class you take. There are small class sizes. There's that connection with the teacher. And I ended up taking French. I took two years of Spanish in high school and three years of Spanish in middle school. And then I came here and the Spanish classes were full and they were like, you need to finish your language requirement. And I was like, what do I do? And then I did French and I was not the best at French, but I can honestly say those French classes were my favorite because I had Professor Kiki and Professor Emily Cranford and both of them were amazing. They changed my life. Amazing professors. So no matter if like that's something you really want to take, because I didn't really want to take French, but I needed it. And it ended up changing my life for the better. How's the food? Know anything about vegetarian options? Yes, I do. So the food here at Augustana, you have a couple options. So first I'm going to talk about Gus's snack bar because walking taco Wednesday. I'm going to say it again. Walking taco Wednesday, you guys. This is the best thing about the snack bar. So they have like grilled cheese, hamburgers, cheeseburgers, chicken wings, chicken nuggets, mozzarella sticks. But on Wednesdays, they have walking taco Wednesdays. And it doesn't matter what kind of day you're having. After you get your walking taco, you're going to be having a great day. So that's one thing that I love because you can always count on that every Wednesday. Okay, now for the regular food, it's in the CSL or the Gerber Center. It kind of has like two names. But in that center, it's kind of like the cafeteria. It's the main source of food on campus. And so you have your carvery, which kind of sells, like not sells, but has um, hamburgers and french fries and stuff like that. There's a pretty limited variety sometimes, but the vegetarian options, there's always going to be a salad bar open. You're going to be able to request a pizza 
or like a cheese pizza or if you're a vegan you can request I think it's like cauliflower pizza that might be if you're gluten free there's like certain things that you can request there is a vegetarian place that has like tofu and soy options and just a lot of like vegetarian vegan friendly places so yes there is excuse me a lot of vegan options and vegetarian options as well um for the transportation in and out of campus basically you can take the bus and you can take it for free using your augustana id and that's really easy like you can go to target I've taken it downtown to go to work and to go to my internship. So the bus is really easy. It's not scary. It's super simple and it's self-explanatory. And you can like download the app and get like the schedule on your phone. So it's really great. And there are always going to be like people on campus who have cars. So specifically like one of my friends drove me in the morning to go to my internship because the bus didn't come at that time. But like, if you make friends, like they're going to be more than willing to want to like help out and like give you rides and stuff. And if you're going really far, like when one of my friends went home for a break and we live like 20 minutes away, they took me home with them. So carpooling and stuff like that works really great too. Let's see. Do people use the fitness center? So we have, the fitness center like Carver, which is for the athletes, but you said the one for non-varsity athletes. So there is a gym in the Westerland dorm, and this is open for anybody. And yes, people do use it. Anyone can use it. Any Augustana student can use it. And it's really great because there's like a little dance studio that you can either do yoga, kickboxing, Zumba if you wanted. Well, I'll, I'll talk about Zumba in a, in a second because that's great. Um, but there's like a whole like dance part and then you have all the machines for the running and the cardio. I don't go over there. And then on the other side, you have like the weightlifting machines. So it's really great. The gym is really good hours, really great. A lot of people go. And also, um, it's an opportunity to have a work because there is um, a person working there. So if you're interested in that, you could get a job there. Um, Zumba. So there are options that Augustana offers and they have teachers come in and teach it. So every Tuesday, I personally go to Zumba and it's amazing. It's from 545 to 645 and we dance and we sweat and we get our little workout in, but they don't just have Zumba. Like they have Zumba, they have yoga, they have Pilates. I don't even know what Pilates are. They have, um, what is it called? Uh, kickboxing. I think I mentioned that already. But they have a lot of opportunities for you. So, like, if you're someone who, like, wants to get fit but you don't want to work out every day or you don't want to go to the gym all the time, they have, like, healthy options for you guys. So, don't worry about that. And don't be afraid to try new things. Like, I never Zumba'd before. I was like, what's a Zumba? And it changed my life. It's so fun. My friends and I go religiously. We love it. So you will find your friend group. You will find people who like have the same interests as you. And you guys can like bond and do things like that together. Um, is Rock Island safe? Yes. I would say for the most part, Rock Island is safe. Um, during Welcome Week, they're going to give you a little... Um, a little not seminar, but a little panel talk. Public safety is going to talk to you a little bit. They're going to tell you to lock your car doors. If you have a car on campus, um, lock your doors because, you know, car robberies happen. They happen everywhere, but they especially happen in Rock Island. Lock your doors and lock your bedroom doors too. Um, ah, I don't know what happened. Everything just moved. Red Fox. I don't know what that is. Um, is there an on-campus orienta orientation in the summertime? I believe so, isn't there? Yes. Yes, there is. Um, what was your speech category? We have a bet going. Um, when I did speech, I went to my senior year. I was in HDA and radio. So let me know who won the bet or what the bet was for. I want to know what you guys thought I was in. Is Augustana an LGBT plus friendly community? Absolutely. You are going to find professors. You're going to find fellow students. You are going to find allies everywhere you go. People are very kind here. People are very open. It's college, guys. Come on. So absolutely, I would say. We even have the, um, the club. I don't remember what the club is called. 
but I, th- I think it's GSA. Um, but yeah, so absolutely. Augustana is a very friendly, welcoming, open community. I mentioned that I was in drama and the musicals at Augie. What was my experience and what was the audition process like? So the audition process is basically like any of your high school auditions. It's the same. You go in, you read a monologue, maybe you get a callback or you read a script from like the little script that they gave you. If you get a callback, um, they might have you like do a little dance or something like that. So for the musical, we had to learn a little bit of a dance and then come back in and do it. And then they watched us and it was all in one day. And then we also had to sing a little bit. And me, I'm not a good singer. I literally brought my karaoke microphone in. It was pink. I was wearing my big hoop earrings and I was like, I'm not a good singer, but here it goes. And I just gave it my best and I got a part in the musical and it was awesome. Um, Drama at Augustana is a really good thing. We have the vagina monologues. We have a children's show. We have like the Penguin Projects. Like Augustana Theater does so much and it's such a great community and you're going to meet great people. Last year, me and my my roommate at the time were both involved in theater and a lot of our friends were too. I still have really great friends who are involved in theater. And you also have the theater fraternity slash sorority. It's national. It's called Alpha Psi Omega. So that's like at most schools. And that's a really great opportunity for anybody interested in drama and theater too, because they have service hours. They just do great things and they do fun stuff. Like they did a haunted house kind of thing in the theater. So it's really great. And like, that's a good opportunity. There's more information about that. Um, How is life around campus? Life around campus is good. I'm confused by your question. So could you elaborate a little bit? I can just tell you about campus life. Like there's a brew. So the brew is kind of like the Starbucks type of hangout. So there's a bunch of chairs and tables and stuff like that. They're like the comfy ones. And people go there in between classes. They stop. They get their coffee. They sit down. They do their homework. There are so many places on campus for you to go. So personally, at the beginning of the year, I would stay in my room and do my homework. And then I realized I don't like doing my homework in my room. I want to be outside. I want to be around people. So when it was nice outside, I would go and sit in the lawn chairs and I would do my homework outside. And if I saw my friend, they would come up to me and then they would sit with me. And then the circle just kind of got bigger every time somebody came. So it was really great because you have the opportunity to really connect with your other friends. And Aside from the brew, we have two quiet floors in our library. I spend a lot of time in the library, not on the quiet floor, because as you can tell, I talk a lot. So one time, like somebody was like, Michelle, can you get off this quiet floor because you're too loud? And I was like, I am so sorry. It was him because it wasn't me. It was my friend. But I left. So be quiet on the quiet floor. That's a great tip. Um, That's so embarrassing. I'm so sorry. Um, But yeah, campus life is pretty easygoing. It's really... It's what you make it. So make it great. Um, Do I ever feel like the school is too small? So personally, I planned on going to a big school. I, in high school, I was like, I need to go in the city. Like I'm a city girl. Like I live really close to Chicago. So I was like, okay, I'm probably going to go to Columbia or DePaul. And If I went to those schools, I would have had to commute. And I was like, I don't want to commute. I want the full college experience. Augustana, for me, is not too small. I fell in love with it the second I got here. I went on my tour. I saw how beautiful the campus was. And I'm like, okay, it's pretty, but like, I'm going to get an education. On this tour, I talked to the professors and I found out about the small class sizes. I found out about the great community. I found out about so much stuff. And when I tell you this is your home away from home, like my job, where I work in that advancement office, those women in the office, they're my second, third, and fourth moms. They're always there for me. They support me in everything that I do. And that's what you'll find here. Your friends are going to support you in everything that you do. You're going to find your passions here. So you might be thinking, oh, well, it's so small. It's smaller than your high school or all that stuff, but it's perfect. So don't think that, I guess. Big schools, 
you're going to go to a big school and you're going to have 117 kids in your class and you're never going to sit by the same person and you're never going to know anybody's name and your teacher is not going to know your name. Is that something that you want? Or do you want to have that relationship with your teacher, that relationship with your students, that relationship with your boss? You make friends, you make connections, and it'll take you far in life. It teaches you life lessons. So no, Augustana is not too small and I love it. And I think anybody who gives it a chance, I think you guys will love it too. Um, I don't know if we have a baton twirling team or anything like that, but that is something that you should look into. That's so different. No one's ever asked that before. Um, let's see. Are most students education minded or are there a lot of kids there who don't really care? So I feel like a lot of students here put their grades first, as always. Like we're all paying to go here. We all know like class is important. So we're coming to college to get an education. So a lot of people are always worried about their classes. They're worried about their grades. I hang out with my friends and a lot of the times if I'm like, hey, want to hang out on my phone, I get can't doing homework or something like that. So like study groups are really great because then you get to hang out with your friends and you're studying. So yes, education is important. And I would not say that there are a lot of kids who really don't care. It's just that there are a lot of kids who also are very involved. So if somebody has a lot going on at one moment, like for me personally, I'm an international event planner with one of my other internships. And so every year in March, I go out of the country for one week. And this one week, I have to get all of my information for my assignments. I have to let all of my teachers know. And I have to make sure that I can make up this work or do it beforehand so that I don't get left behind because I'm in another country. And it's not like an education like field trip or for a class it's for a separate internship through the school though so like last year there were two quizzes in one of my classes that I wasn't able to take because I wasn't physically in the class and it was a current events quiz so this did affect my grade but not not in any huge manner or anything like that and just because like I still went on this trip doesn't mean I don't care about my grades it just means that I have equal priorities um, let's see. Let's see. Are club sports popular? Absolutely. We have a high contact club sport. We have the rugby team. We have cheerleading. We have fencing. There's so much. And we also have intramural. So there's intramural bowling. There's softball. I think there's basketball, soccer. So absolutely. You do not have to be on a varsity sport to do a sport that you love. Do a lot of kids go home on the weekends? I personally never, ever, ever went home on a weekend. I only went home for the breaks. A lot of my friends who lived kind of close, if they had an event on, they would go home. But for the most part, people stay on campus. You might think that, oh, you're going to want to go home a lot. But when you make your friends and you find your little group and your home, your family, you're not even going to want to go home anymore. You're going to be like, I want to hang out with my friends. So it's just a personal option. If you want to go home, if you want to see your family, like that's up to you. Um, in a nutshell, describe everything, everything event that goes down at the open house scholarship event in a nutshell. Well, okay. So personally, I never went to a scholarship event, but like I said earlier, my two friends met there and they became roommate, roommates. So you get to talk to other um, students, you get to connect with them, you get to meet other professors, and they could be your professor. Like you don't know, like if you're not sure what your major is. So you'll get to meet them, you get a tour, you get lunch. So that's the whole shebang, for lack of a better word. I apologize. Um, is double majoring manageable? Absolutely. If you missed the beginning of the video, I previously mentioned that I'm a multimedia journalism, mass communication, so that's one major. And then I'm also a communication studies major. So that's two. Two. Okay. Um, let's see. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm reading the comments, you guys. 
Are freshmen required to live on campus? No, you guys are not required to live on campus. You can commute. That is something that you need to talk to your residential life about. Or I think you would talk to financial aid too because like your payment would be different because you wouldn't be paying for a house because you are commuting. Um, how easy is it to get involved in an internship? So I can only talk about my personal experiences with internships. So as I mentioned earlier, I am an international event planner and I got this internship because so in high school, I was like student council president and we planned like prom and homecoming and all those fun little events and I loved it. So because of that, I was like, oh my God, I want to do event planning. So I uh, like applied for a job at the OSL and they didn't hire me. And I was like, cool. And so when my CA checked in with me and was like, oh, so have you tried to get a job? And I was like, yeah, I applied and I didn't get hired. She was like, oh, you're interested in event planning. And she gave me a connection. So I talked to the person that she told me to talk to. And he was basically like, okay, well, you can start out and see how you like it. And if you want to continue, then like, that's up to you. So I ended up getting my internship like that. And I loved it and I'm still doing it. And like this event planning thing will be here with me until my senior year. So that's really great. Also, your professors. So for my other internship, I interned at the local four news station and I got that contact from my professor. Your professors are here to help you go to those office hours, talk to them because they want nothing more than to see you succeed and not just like in your education, but in your life. So they're there for you. I talked to my professor. She gave me an Augie grads number or email on my bed. And I emailed him. He emailed, he gave me his boss's email. And then I talked to him and I got the internship. So talk to your professors about that. You, it's super easy. Augustana has amazing, great connections. Can you bring your pet gecko? Yes, but I'm pretty sure you still have to have it registered as an ESA animal, which is an emotional support animal. Um, next thing, how are the mental health services and are they prompt and helpful? So I have quite a few friends who go to the counseling here and I have heard some really good things about it. So it might take a week or so to get in because a lot of people have to go to the counselor. So it takes a little bit, but they are really great. They know what they're doing and they're here to help you. Additionally, we have the Gray Matters program. So what this is, is it's an event that basically shows people that you matter and that they're here for you. So specifically what the Gray Matters is, is people take portraits of themselves. So they take pictures of their face and well, somebody takes the picture. Somebody takes the portraits. Kevin takes the portrait. And then you choose a quote and they put the quote across your face. And so this year they had over 200 people, I believe, and they hung up all the posters and they basically showed you that whenever you think that you're struggling and you're alone, look around you and these 200 people are there for you. Like you can talk to any of us. I personally am a Gray Matters representative and like... This college cares about you. They care about your health. They care about your mental health. They care about your education. And they're going to show you that. So if you need help, never ever feel like you can't reach out because there's always someone here that's going to want to help you in any way that they can. Are there ever dogs on campus? Yes. In fact, there is one um, resident, it's one of the adult residents that lives in one of the dorms and she has a dog on campus. And if you're really lucky, she will let you walk her dog and it's amazing. And I love dogs. So it's really great. Also other people have emotional support dogs. So when they're around, if you like ask permission, you can pet their dogs. There are, I've seen like quite a few dogs on campus. So yes, we also do have Augustana's there's like a dog club. I can't remember what it's called. I don't think it's Paws for Puppies, but it's, there is a Viking, Viking pups. pups. That's what it's called. So there's also Viking Pups that you can get involved with. And there's a lot of sororities and fraternities that do events for animal shelters and stuff too. Also great volunteer opportunities, 
are going to the volunteer shelter. So if you're interested in volunteering, you can do that because it's very easy and close to campus. Um, uh, let's see. <laughs> what is the most popular major? I honestly am not sure. I feel like a lot of people are science majors. I can tell you a lot of people are not my major. I don't know a lot of people in my major, but I know people, ugh, a bunch of things, geology, geography, environmental studies, biology, chemistry, pre-med, pre-physical therapy, math, engineering. There are so many majors. I could not tell you which one is the most popular, but you'll find like Augie being a liberal arts school, you take your perspective classes and you're going to find how you're going to find what you like. And by those perspective classes, by those professors, by those um, requirements, you're going to be interested in something. And then that's what you can pursue after that. Someone asked how, mm, I'm sorry, I'm lost. If you are allowed to commute, would I suggest it? Um, that's up to you because, like, there is the financial burden of living on campus, but also that's an experience. So personally for me, the reason why I chose Augustana, well, I didn't choose Augustana over DePaul, but the reason why I decided I didn't want to go to DePaul was because I did not want to commute and commuting was my only option personally. So when I came to Augustana and I was going to live on campus, I was very excited because I wanted that full college experience. I personally have quite a few friends who are commuters and they do say like it's a little bit harder to like be in a sorority or fraternity. It's a little bit harder to hang out with friends because everybody wants to hang out. Um, but you're at home. So it's a little difficult. And like group projects might be a little difficult because you're at home when everybody else is in the dorm waiting for you. So it's honestly up to you. I can't really tell you that you should or should not do it. But personally, I loved the full college experience. I loved being independent in the dorm and it was a great experience. But either way, you're going to get so much out of Augustana. Do I know anyone majoring in pre-vet? Yes, I know two people, two, two people, my voice cracked, majoring in pre-vet. They love it. Um, I know one person just got accepted as a sophomore into vet school, which is insane and crazy and totally awesome. So Augustana provides you with those experiences. It gives you those opportunities. So if you're going pre-vet, good luck and have fun because I know you're going to love it. Um... How long, let's see, do people actually take that path by the water? <laughs> that is the slough path. Yes. Let me tell you guys, it's beautiful. It is so pretty. I, if I wake up in the morning and I have extra time, I will purposely take the slough to school because it is just absolutely stunning. In the fall, the leaves are falling. You have the red and orange and it's just gorgeous and peaceful and like some people like say like oh it's scary you're gonna get pushed in the water no that doesn't happen it's not gonna happen I know a lot of people who when it freezes in the winter they go ice skating on it and I do not recommend that whatsoever I'm not saying that I recommend that but people do it I have never done that I would never do that because I don't want to slip and fall or anything like that but people do take it it's a great spot I like to sit and read over there so Absolutely. The SLU is one of my favorite things about campus. Um, let's see. Do people leave campus to go into town often? I would say yes. People pretty much go in and out whenever they want. It's not like you have to like sign out or anything. Like If you want to get in your car and go to the store, you can. If you want to go out to eat, you can. So people come and go as they please. Have I studied abroad? No, I personally haven't studied abroad. I know that if you're interested in studying abroad, like that's something that you could possibly use your Augie choice for. I know a lot of people who 
are currently studying abroad. I know there's some people in Sweden. People just got back from Brazil. Last year, they took a trip to some French-speaking country. So there are a lot of study abroad opportunities. So you just have to find the one that is right for you. Um, no, I don't know anybody. Oh, yeah, wait, I do know somebody majoring in pre-optometry. I do, but I couldn't tell you much about that. And then do I know anything about pre-physical therapy major? Unfortunately, I do not, as I am just a journalist. I'm sorry. Is changing majors common? Absolutely. People change their majors all the time. I know one of my friends changed her major three times, and she's about to be a junior. And two of those times are her sophomore year, and her junior year was once. So it's very common to change your major. It's okay to not know what you want, and it's definitely okay to reach out because your advisors are there for you. They want you to succeed even if it's not in like their core subject. So they're going to help you find what's best for you. Um, do I have any overall advice for incoming freshmen to remember when transitioning to this new phase of life? And I'm so good at this, thank you. Um, I think my one piece of advice would just be to be yourself. When you come into college, like, don't overthink it. Move-in day is a little stressful. You know, you're saying goodbye to your parents. All that stuff is happening. But just keep an open mind and be yourself. I would say don't prejudge anybody. Don't listen to the stereotypes and the rumors that you hear. Just honestly keep that open mind. Reach out and join that club. You can always say, like, that you don't want to be in it later. So get out of your comfort zone. My advice is don't go to school and go to class and go home and do nothing. I, I want you to go to school and go to class and go to your clubs or go to your sport or go hang out with your friends or join a group. Be involved. This campus is what you make it. So if you're going home every day after class and you do nothing but go to class and do your homework, that's really good because your education is really important. But Augustana has a plethora of opportunities for you to truly discover who you are, to be independent, to take that leadership role and just find yourself. Like college is your time of finding who you want to be and just exploring and having fun. So do it. Have fun. Join that club. Join that sport. Just take positive risks because this is your time to do it. So if you want to major in whatever subject you want to major in, do it. If you want to take that French class just because it sounds fun or the perspective or whatever it is, do it because this is your time to do that. Um, I just wanted to remind you guys that if you wanted to go on that open house website or yes, the open house and scholarship competition, once again, it is Saturday, February 8th. And you don't need anything to prepare, and it's still open to register. And for more information about that and any auditions, you can check out the admissions minute pages. And so you can find that on Facebook or YouTube, and we'll post a link in the comments shortly. So if no one has any more questions, once again, I would like to remind you guys to please tune in next time because me and possibly Sarah will be here. And basically we are going to be answering more questions and that will be in February. One more question. Do I participate in any of the campus ministries available? If so, how accessible is that? So no, I do not personally participate in that, but I get an email almost every single day. So if you did wanna participate in that, you can definitely check your email. They'll email you and you can just go to the events. It's extremely accessible. So don't be worried about that. Everything is really accessible. There's an activities fair at the very beginning of the year. And basically you put your email down and you can sign up for Disney club, yarn club, all sorts of different activities. You can write your name down on all sorts of lists and they'll email you and like, you'll have the opportunity to go to these clubs. But if you don't want to, you can simply ask to take your name off the list. So if you're taking that positive step, you're trying something new, and you decide that it's not really for you, that's completely okay. Don't feel bad. Like, don't feel bad not doing something that you're not obsessed with. You know what I mean? I'm excited for you guys all to come. Augustana is truly great. Um, it's just amazing. It's really, you're going to love it here. Because... 
for me, I came and the very first day I made friends in my welcome group. I made friends at the bonfire. There's a boat party for the freshmen. It's just a really fun time. So if you have any worries about making friends, don't. If you have any worries about roommates, don't. All your worries need to be put at ease because Augustana is truly here to help you. They want you to be the best version of yourself that you can be. So you can do it. Well, that's all. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye, guys.